Let's look at how these different aspect ratios, 16 by 9 and the older 4 by 3, bring in their own set of challenges to home theatre. Let's take your average theatrical movie release. You go to the movies and you view the latest blockbuster on a really wide screen. It's kind of shaped like a rectangle. Now it's six months later and the movie has come out on DVD and you view that on your old TV with a 4x3 aspect ratio. It kind of looks more like a square than a rectangle. Now how are we going to get this rectangular image onto our old TV box? There are a few ways to get this done. The easiest way is just to crop the left and right side off. And this works most of the time as long as there is not valuable information in those cropped off areas. But imagine a shot like this. How are you going to show that on a 4x3 screen? Well, the second way to do this is letterboxing. That is where you just shrink the entire image down so that it can be shown in its entirety on the 4x3 screen. There are unused areas on the screen, on the top and bottom, which show up as black bars. We've not used all of the real estate of the 4x3 screen. However, we do see the entire image. Another way to show that rectangular image on a 4x3 screen is a method called pan and scan in which the movie studios look at the entire film and decide which part of the rectangular image is most important. Perhaps most of the film is shot right down the middle, but then when there's a wide shot of two actors, when that was filmed, the film could be re-edited to show the left half of the screen, then the right half of the screen following the dialogue. If you've ever seen this message, this movie has been modified from its original version. It has been formatted to fit your screen then the movie was either just cropped right down the middle or pan and scan to reveal the best part of that rectangular image to show on your old 4x3 TV screen. In rare occasions, the widescreen can just be squashed to show everything, but this is usually reserved just for the ending credits when there are just titles on the screen. Now the inverses happen with a proliferation of widescreen 16x9 high-def TVs in people's home theatre setups. Of course, theatrical release movies, they come up fine. They have basically the same aspect ratio. However, the problem comes when watching older TV shows. They were, of course, shot for 4x3 TV screens, the only ones available at the time. But now when you watch them on a 16x9 screen, we have these black bars on the sides. This is known as pillar boxing. If you want to have this image fill up the entire screen, then you would just have to zoom in and then cut off a portion of the original image. Or worse solution still is just to stretch the image so that it fills the entire screen. Hi, I'm David Wills and the clip you've just seen is just a taste of what you can find in my free mini course that teaches you the seven secrets that can help you save thousands, I mean thousands and thousands of dollars while creating your very own dream home theatre. It's a really cool course that drops right into your email inbox with full length high res videos and articles, not these fuzzy little video clips that you've just seen. Uh, I've been a technical consultant to superstars like Michael Jackson, Whitney Houston, Diana Ross and a bunch of others designing and installing video and audio environments. And I'd love to just get that same cool information into your hands that can help you build a home theatre setup of your dreams within a budget that you can afford. Anyway, go to besthometheatreguide.com and sign up for the free mini course and you can get the first full length high res video immediately with accompanying article and I'll send the rest every few days so that you can learn at your own pace. That's besthometheatreguide.com. Sign up and I'll see you in a couple of minutes.